Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Atlanta Braves franchise, where we go over top prospects from AA Mississippi up to AAA Gwinnett. Last time our, we did a Prospect Profile was in the 2017 season, where we went over AA starting pitcher Luis Gohara. This time we're going to be staying in AA for a newly promoted AA player in Kevin Maton, the shortstop slash third baseman who is the number two overall prospect in the Braves organization. That's the 2017 rankings. He could possibly slate up back into, into the number one overall in the uh, Braves system now that Ozzie Albies is the MLB starting second baseman, but we'll have to see if Albies sticks around in the major leagues here. But as of right now, Matt Eton is number two. Albies is number one, but he could possibly move up into that number one spot. He's only 18 years old. He was 17 last year. He's now 18. He stands at 6 foot 2, 190 pounds, even though in the game he's listed at 175. I'll probably have to change that. And as far as his MLB.com grades go, they have him graded as a 60 hit, which is a plus tool, about a 280 average, a 55 power, which is above average power. That's usually like 19 to 22, 20 plus home runs, 40 run. That's not really too good. He only has 48 speed in game, but I mean, he's not a stolen base threat. That's not what he's slated out to be. He has a 65 arm, which is a 60 in game. Definitely going to get better, especially with his A potential. A 50 fielding, which is average. That definitely could use some work in the game, but we'll have to see what he can do with his A potential and improve upon because he is pretty raw and does have some improving to do. And then he's also great as a 55 overall, which is a above average in his MLB.com grades. So Maton is a 60 overall in game. He is an A potential, like I mentioned. And because he's an A potential, he is going to grow quite a bit. He's going to get better. His attributes, the way they stand right now, are not going to be final, obviously. He's in double A. Hopefully he can have a couple good seasons in double A. Because like I said, he is only 18. He definitely has a lot of growing to do. So he's not going to be MLB ready this season or next season. MLB.com has his ETA is 2020. Uh, he could possibly be up in 2019, maybe. But 2020 is probably more realistic. Uh, so he's probably not going to be MLB ready for next season. If he is, it'll be like mid-season call-up thing. But he's probably more 2020 season. So that would be season four of this Braves franchise. Now, there is a mistake in this OSFM set of rosters that I have in Kevin Maton. Uh, they do have him listed as a Cuban-born player. He is not. He is from Venezuela. I will be changing that. I did not even notice that until I just just looked at it now and I was like wait he's not Cuban so we're gonna have to change that next time I hop on the game and I mentioned that he is a shortstop slash third base because well the Braves pretty much have their shortstop and second base position set shortstop for the for, for the foreseeable future is Dansby Swanson second baseman for the foreseeable future is Ozzie Albies but third base there's kind of a question mark right now it's Adonis Garcia Rio Wees is there he could play third and first he could possibly not be that major league ready. He could be trade bait. You never really know. Uh, but he's right now ahead of Maton at that, or Maton at that third base position. But Maton is probably more slated to be a third baseman, especially since he's not really going to crack the starting lineup at shortstop with Dansby Swanson there. And then plus, he is projected as more of a all-around hitter with average and power. So, I mean, it would be good to have that coming from the shortstop position, but we do have Dansby Swanson there, and he could be with that, especially with that arm of his, he could be an above-average third baseman. And like I said, he has a lot of growing to do. He's only 18. His MLB ETA is 20-20. He's only a 60 overall in game. He's definitely got some ways to go until we can get him up to the big leagues. So we're not going to be seeing him right away, but he is a definitely a guy worth looking out for because he's probably going to be... Uh, in the lineup at some point later on in this franchise, but he's not right now. He has a lot of growing to do, and because he has a lot of growing to do, and because he's so highly touted, his MLB player comps are kind of wacky. He's been compared to Chipper Jones and Miguel Cabrera. That's also another reason why he could probably be slated as a third baseman, because those comps are third baseman. Chipper was a shortstop who moved to third base, but th those are third basemen. Miguel Cabrera obviously plays first now, but he was third. And the problem with comparing prospects to players like Chipper Jones and Miguel Cabrera, these Hall of Fame type players, is because, well, they, it just puts unrealistic expectations on these prospects. 
you, you, if you say a guy is going to be like Chipper Jones, that causes the entire fan base to think that this guy is going to be exactly like Chipper Jones, and you're getting yourself a surefire Hall of Famer here in Kevin Mayton, where that might not happen, and he's going to get too much pressure on him. And it's just unrealistic to think that he's going to be the exact same player as Chipper Jones or Miguel Cabrera is. Now, obviously, there is an upside to comparing players to Hall of Fame players. Uh, mainly, the main compare, the main positive side of that is that it's just easier for people to understand. If you say, "Hey, this guy's like Chipper Jones," a casual baseball fan's like, "Hey, I know who Chipper Jones is," and he's gonna understand. But we're gonna roll with it. So Chipper Jones and Miguel Cabrera are his MLB player comps. And that's going to wrap things up here for this prospect profile of Kevin Mayton in AA Mississippi in the Atlanta Braves organization, the number two overall Braves prospect. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. Memories take me back to all of the wildest times. If I could change your mind.